So once you've logged into Teams, and I'm just going to quickly show you a quick overview here of some of the things that are available to you. This is the, um, the app, so um, the online version is very, very similar. So once you log in, you'll see that the uh, classes that your teachers have allocated to you. Now, um, certainly in computing, we've set up some new seven classes. They're not being used at the moment, but you will see them there. So uh, you'll click on your class. OK, this is a test class that I've set up. And this is a student view. So um, once you click on here, you've got a um, you've got kind of a general message. You can post messages to each other. And you've got to be a bit careful here because some of these can get a bit lost. So um, on the left hand side, you've got channels. Okay. So um, for example, in computing, I've set up a general channel, and there's a networks channel. That was just a unit of work that students are doing. So depending on how your teachers structure it, there'll be different channels within each channel. Um, on the top you've got files and you can also add or your teachers can add some information up here so if you click on files for example you'll be able to see all of the files that your teacher has put within that tab so for example if I go on to general and I click on files I won't come up with the stuff that's in network so you've got to be a bit careful about where stuff's um, stored but be treating these like folders um, now, the other thing to do is your assignments. Now, some teachers will be um, setting assignments on here in the future, um, but you need to make sure that the assignments tab up on the top here is only viewable in the general channel. So click on assignments and then you'll see your assignments. Now, these are um, some assignments that I've been setting in computing and you'll be able to see that these three here are overdue. So I've not submitted those because it's just a test account. And um, so you click on um, click on your assignment. OK, you got the instructions in the teacher. Your teacher can add um, resources for you. So I have put a worksheet here for you to be able to fill out. And then you've also got points and feedback and things as well for you. So um, once you've completed that and um, you can submit it and you can turn in work here, your teacher um, can give you some marks. It's work. So you click on complete and you'll be able to see here your comments that your teacher has given you. Now, um, some of your teachers might want to do an online chat to you. If you click on calendar here and your teacher will um, be able to schedule a meeting and it will pop up on here and you just click on it and you can join. OK, so um, that's a quick overview of some of the things that are available on Teams and uh, I'll help you again in another video.